an opportunity of making a space something like China Club for their entertainments where they can do fishing, they can play basketball, and they can also mix among themselves. This is one. The second is Chinese government may consider of establishing one of the China Bangladesh training center in Bangladesh very well established so that more and more Bangladeshi skilled people may be trained in language or may be improved, they may, may be given the improvement on their skills so that they can go to China. In general, we can say the Chinese, there are a lot of Chinese people, maybe China would never take workforce, but my personal research shows that in future, if there is any skilled people, China would also love to take workers, skilled workers from Bangladesh. So instead of relocating, we don't have many space, we don't have gas. Everybody wants relocation, relocation, relocation. But instead of relocation of factories, if China may consider taking the labor force to China, so for that, you can train our labor force according to your standard. And other few points where I every time emphasize the visit of Chinese president, which was very much told by General Mahabu. The finally fourth one, well, Bangladesh and China both are still talking about the deep support. There are some hindrance. We are small nation. Though in the United Nations status, we are the same two countries. My request to Chinese authority, the Chinese government or the Chinese diplomats should try and find out where is the hindrance? What is the limitations of Bangladesh? I'm a freelance. I don't mind of speaking. You know, there are American factors. There are Indian factors. So if our Chinese diplomats or Chinese government do resolve those uh, problems and take the serious initiative of establishing the deep sea port, well, China-Bangladesh relationship will take a real different uh, dynamics. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, if you now